Open science is the idea that science should be collaborative, diverse, and open to everyone. So how do we make sure that this idea is implemented? To find out, we're joined by Sydney Nugabacher. She's the coordination and analysis lead with NASA's Capacity Building Program. Thank you for taking the time today. Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little bit about open science. What does this term mean to you? Open science means a lot more than what some people would expect. A lot of times you think open source science, free data, free tools, free ways to analyze that data, and it's all you know, well documented. But open science is also about inclusion, so making sure science is open and available to everyone in whatever way they want to participate. So we think about it also like inclusion. So, and when you say inclusion, we're talking, are we talking scientists in different fields? Are we talking about people who have never opened a science textbook in their life? When, like, um, when, when you say inclusion, what do you mean? Yes to all of those things, <laughs> including people across the whole entire system. So we have all these scientists that are doing really great work that's really has a lot of applications and uses in the real world. And then the people that are actually making decisions, these people aren't always really well connected. And then the people that are impacted by those decisions, it needs to be open and available so that people along this whole chain can participate in whatever way they're able to, because all the work really affects each one of us, especially when we're dealing with big challenges like in earth science. So how do you implement something like this? Because I imagine it involves a mind, a sort of a shift in mindset, especially for scientists who have done things a certain way for a long time, and all of a sudden now they're having to think about making their science more approachable, more inclusive, more you know, available. Yeah, definitely. Part of it is just bringing in some new teams that can help do that bridging. Because it's not like what we did in the past doesn't work anymore. All that still works. It's just that we want to make it more connected. So bringing in more teams to help bridge the gaps in the different communities is one of our primary ways we're doing this. Diversity, equity, inclusion, I imagine these are all part of what you're talking about. And, and these are, are topics that are kind of coming under attack as of late. Um, what are you doing to kind of preserve and, and protect these ideas as you're doing open science um, you know, against the, any sort of pushback or blowback? Yeah, definitely. These are core values that NASA holds, and that means that all folks at NASA also hold these core values. So we're trying to integrate it into science in any, any way we can. One example is uh, through inclusion plans. So whenever you write a solicitation to do a project now with NASA, um, you're going to be writing an inclusion plan along with it for many of our programs to talk about how you're practicing inclusion in your own science teams. And that's going to look differently for everybody. Um, but making sure we have acceptable plans in place so that we are supporting inclusion even where we aren't able to work um, with our NASA teams. And you're doing a session on environmental justice and earth sciences while you're here at AGU 23. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So NASA has a lot of earth science products and tools that um, can help people make decisions wherever it is they live. And we're trying to, again, do that kind of connecting piece, making sure that our tools and our science are able to help everyone equally. So in places that have previously been underserved by science and maybe even overexploited by gathering data and having no real work to help create solutions, we're trying to go and remedy some of that. Um, new projects, new tools and partnerships, working directly with community organizations and providing funding to those organizations to make sure the science is something they can implement and have you know, for a long time within those communities. That's the goal of all our environmental justice work at NASA. And so we have some of our investigators coming in to talk about how that implementation has looked in the past year. And what are you hoping people are going to take away from this session? The session is a bit unique. We have some kind of topics that I think a lot of people won't have ever heard about at AGU. So for example, the environmental landscape um, around prisons. That's not something I've heard about uh -uh. at AGU before, but that's going to be in this session. So I hope people think a little bit differently about the kind of science that NASA does, that NASA supports. You know, open science also seems to suggest that everybody is part of a big community. And it's not just, you know, having the, the degree that says, I am a scientist, but also um, sharing ideas and feeling included and feeling part of things. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about the importance of community to the work you're doing? Definitely. Part of what we're doing is we respect all the communities that already exist and want to connect with them wherever it is they're at. So even if you, know, you don't have a degree in science, we want to bring in all kinds of teams, interdisciplinary teams, sociologists that we have presenting at AGU for the very first time, for example, are leading some of these teams. So we want to really connect with communities where they exist based on their own values um, and really help them feel like they are seen and part of NASA. Sydney Nugabauer, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.